Section 11.5 is on the areas of circles and sectors. And of course, we're going to relate this back to uh, arc length and circumference from 11.4. So first, we, uh, we learn when we're pretty young, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. That's our formula, pi times radius squared. A sector is just a part of a circle. So here we have the whole circle P, and if we want to find the area of this area that's bounded by uh, this radius AP and this radius PB, that's called a sector. The formula for a sector is going to be x over 360 times pi r squared. And how did we come up with that? Well, how much of the circle are we really talking about? In our example for 11.4, uh, we said if we were talking about a 90-degree angle, that would be one-fourth of the circle. So that's what we, uh, we can extrapolate that to any kind of an angle. So here's our example problem. If we have a central angle is 100 degrees and our radius is 6, what's the area of sector GOB? So we start with uh, x over 360 times pi r squared. So that's where the 100, which is our central angle, goes. And our radius 6 goes in for the r. We're going to reduce the fraction, and we're going to square the 6. And we're going to... Again, uh, divide 18 and 36 is 2 times 5 is 10 pi centimeters squared. So this would be a typical answer for um, an area of a sector problem. And you should have uh, either a fraction or ex expected uh, a fraction or a pi in your answer. So in uh, the worksheet for the homework, 11.5, in the first section it says find the exact area of the circle then find the area to nearest hundredths. And what they're really wanting to do here is learn the difference between what is an exact answer and what is an approximate answer. So in, uh, in number one, uh, we'd start with uh, the 3 eighths inch is our radius, so we're going to say uh, the area of the circle is pi r squared, and then we're going to say uh, pi times 3 eighths and we're going to have to square the 3 eighths. So 3 squared is 9, 8 squared is 64, so the answer is going to be 9 pi over 64 inches squared. That's the exact answer, 9 pi over 64 inches squared. Or you could say 9 over 64 pi inches squared. And then if they want it to nearest 100, now we're going to have to uh, put that in our calculator and multiply it out. 